Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video, where we'll be taking an in-depth look at Google's incredible new AI system called Gemini. This thing is truly mind-blowing, and some are saying it could be bigger than the invention of the internet itself. If I were to look at the foundational breakthroughs in AI over the past decade, Google has been at the forefront of many of those breakthroughs. Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do. It's been, you know, very challenging, but also very exciting. I know that sounds like hype, but once you understand what Gemini is capable of, you'll see why people are making those big claims. In this video, I'll give you a complete breakdown of how Gemini works, the technology behind it, some jaw-dropping demos of what it can do, an analysis of benchmarks compared to other AI systems, and expert perspectives on why this launch really does mark the beginning of a new era in AI. There's a ton of ground to cover here, so grab some snacks, get comfy, and let's dive in. To understand why Gemini is such a huge deal, we first need to understand what sets it apart. Up until now, AI systems have typically only been able to process one type of data at a time, so a system could understand text or analyze images, but not both together. This is called a single modal system. What makes Gemini completely unique is that it's the first ever large-scale multimodal AI system, meaning it can process not just text, but also code, audio, image, and video. This allows Gemini to understand the world and communicate in the same rich, multimodal way that we humans do. So if you show Gemini a photo, and ask it a question about the image. And I'll prompt Gemini, find a connection between these two images. Let's see what Gemini says. A curved and organic composition, the building is more refined and the second image is more fluid. It can actually understand what's in the picture and have a dialogue with you. That's because it links up the visual concepts from the image with its advanced language capabilities. No AI has ever been able to seamlessly connect modalities like this before. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Gemini has a number of other capabilities that set it apart, including, for one, its understanding of language itself is more advanced than that of any previous AI. In benchmarks, it scored higher than even the mighty GPT-4 in reasoning tasks and question answering. Plus, Gemini has incredible skills when it comes to generating images, video, and even computer code. In most programming languages, that includes Python, Java, C++, and Go. It substantially improves coding abilities over previous Palm 2 models. From a benchmark around 200 programming functions in Python, it consistently solves about 75% of them in the first try, versus around 45% on Palm 2. If you allow Gemini to check and repair its own answers, this number jumps to over 90%. Unlike AIs before it, Gemini can take complex instructions and actually produce novel images, videos, and apps that correctly fit the instructions. This is a huge leap forward. Finally, Gemini is not a single model, but an entire family of models, ranging from the ultra-powerful Gemini Ultra for complex applications down to the Gemini Nano that can run efficiently even on smartphones. This makes Gemini far more accessible to developers and businesses that want to build practical AI applications. Gemini shattered limits thanks to its multimodal capabilities, advanced language and reasoning skills, creative generation abilities across modalities, and range of accessible model sizes. Amazing about Gemini is that it's so good at so many things. As we started getting to the end of the training, uh, we started seeing that Gemini was better than any other model out there on these very, very important benchmarks. For example, each of the 50 different subject areas that we tested on. This combination is what makes experts so excited about the future potential here. Now that we understand what makes Gemini special at a high level, let's look at some real examples that show off what it can do. I want to start by playing this demo directly from Google that shows off Gemini's multimodal capabilities. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes! A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. 
The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm. As you could see there, Gemini was able to identify objects placed in front of it, understand drawings and abstract concepts, solve reasoning challenges, and even play interactive games all using both visual and textual data seamlessly. Nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high, level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called, Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue 1. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue 2. This country loves football and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. Whether it was guessing countries based on emoji clues, identifying real versus fake objects, solving visual puzzles, or even riffing on a silly doodle, you could see how Gemini stitches multiple modalities together in a way no previous AI could. And again, this was just a simple demo. In real-world applications, Gemini's multimodal intelligence unlocks all sorts of possibilities for education, gaming, accessibility, healthcare, and more. We'll get more into the implications later on. But I wanted to show you another demo from Google that reveals how Gemini can apply its multimodal reasoning in more practical situations. Let's say I'm looking for inspirations for a birthday party theme for my daughter. Gemini says, I can help you with that. Could you tell me what she's interested in? At this point, instead of responding in text, Gemini goes and creates a bespoke interface to help me explore ideas. It's got lots of ideas, it's visually rich, it's interactable. Now, none of this was coded up. It was all generated by Gemini. Gemini uses a series of reasoning steps, going from broad decisions to increasingly high resolution of reasoning, finally getting to code and data. First, Gemini considers, does it even need an UI? Is a text prompt best? Okay, this is a complex request that needs lots of information to be presented in an organized way. I didn't say what my daughter's interests are or what kind of a party I wanted, so it had asked a clarifying question. When I said, we're thinking about an outdoor party and my daughter loves animals, Gemini reasoned it had enough information to proceed. But it made a note that there was still ambiguity about what kind of animals, and this is important, and what kind of outdoor party. Here you could see Gemini generate an entire visually interactive application customized to my specific needs. First asking smart clarifying questions in our dialogue, then instantly producing a tailored app interface filled with relevant images, options, and data. Again, Gemini is reasoning across modalities to understand context and intent, ask relevant follow-ups if needed, and then deliver a bespoke experience using both language and graphics. This ability to rapidly build applications like this could be game-changing. Instead of needing to code everything by hand, AI can now handle huge chunks of development work for us. And thanks to Gemini's understanding of code itself, it can even write and improve the programs needed to power these experiences. All right, so those demos give you a glimpse of why multimodal capabilities like these have researchers so pumped about Gemini. But raw capability is only half the story. We still need to see how Gemini actually stacks up against other top AI systems out there. Luckily, Google benchmarked Gemini against models like GPT-4 and more across a range of categories relevant to real-world usage. Let's analyze those results next. All right, take a look at this benchmark data comparing Gemini Ultra, the largest and most capable Gemini model, against GPT-4 and other leading AI systems. 
analyze benchmark slides. So what can we make of all this? Well, there are a few key takeaways. First, we can see Gemini Ultra dominating GPT-4 in almost all multimodal benchmarks, whether that's generating images and video, comprehending visual diagrams, or reasoning about objects it's shown. This solidifies Gemini as the best multimodal AI available, leveraging the tight integration between vision, language, and reasoning models. At the same time, Gemini also surpasses GPT-4 in critical language-only benchmarks like reasoning tasks and question answering. And in math and coding evaluations, Gemini at least matches if not slightly beats GPT-4 too. That's incredible given how capable GPT-4 already was. Adding everything up, Gemini is either the state of the art or within a hair of the state of the art across all major domains relevant to general intelligence, vision, language, reasoning, math, coding, and beyond. For any developer or business building AI applications, Gemini represents the most well-rounded and high-performing foundation available to advance their products, and Google plans to make Gemini models accessible through their cloud platform for this exact purpose. So in the benchmarks, we can clearly see Gemini is the leader of the pack when it comes to capabilities most important for delivering next-gen AI products and experiences. But specs on paper are one thing. What matters more is how these breakthroughs actually translate into solving real human problems and improving lives. And a big piece of that is safety. Given how advanced Gemini is compared to any AI before, there are of course valid concerns around harmful misuse as well. Safety and responsibility has to be built in from the beginning. And at Google DeepMind, that's what we've done with Gemini. I think Google took some important steps here that are worth recognizing. First, they committed to only allowing access to Gemini's capabilities via monitored APIs, meaning no one can directly manipulate the models. This limits potential harms. They also enacted youth safety policies limiting any generation involving minors. And they screen capabilities on sensitive categories related to violence, hate, and more to prevent generating that type of harmful content. Of course, there is still work to do. But Google it took tangible steps both in terms of technical limitations and content policies to promote responsible use. AI safety needs to be addressed collaboratively across developers, researchers, and governments alike. But when Gemini is used properly, the beneficial potential here is enormous. Let's talk about some promising applications that could really move the needle on meaningful problems. All right, as you saw earlier, one game changer is Gemini's ability to rapidly build custom AI experiences without needing lots of manual software work. That makes deploying smart applications much faster and cheaper across industries. Of course, as amazing as Gemini seems today, we're still just at the start of unlocking AI's true potential. Google AI chief Jeff Dean said, this launch of Gemini really signals the opening of a new era in AI. So what might that new era bring? I want to close by looking ahead at what some top experts predict around Gemini specifically, and the bigger wave of innovation it's sparking. Demis Hassabis, the founder of DeepMind, which built Gemini, gave a hint of what's in store. He's most excited about how Gemini's knowledge and multimodal abilities might be combined with advancing robotics. He sees huge promise in embedding this level of AI into robotic systems, perhaps forming the backbone of real human-level assistants that can physically interact with the real world much like we do. Other researchers echo this concept of fusing different strengths of AI, like reasoning or creativity, together into singular systems. Gemini makes that kind of fusion feasible for the first time and the results could be computing systems that tackle the world's challenges on a truly human level. Hasabi's also noted that rapid advancements are in store through 2024 as they keep innovating. Considering the immense progress made to get to Gemini already, the pace of breakthroughs only accelerating further is super exciting. Between robotic integration, model fusion, and the ridiculous talent working on this stuff, it's hard not to be hopeful about this new era Gemini ushers in. And for those curious, technically, Google used architectural tricks like processing words embedded in entire sentences rather than one by one to better handle multimodal context. And they shifted from optimizing metrics to the actual human preferences that underlie those metrics. These innovations partly fueled Gemini's giant leap forward in capability and safety. 
Alright, that's all for this video, let me know what you think of Gemini, and if you want to see more AI updates as the space keeps growing, smash that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.